Good morning, tiny house people. This is Greg with Rocky Mountain Tiny Houses in Durango, Colorado. It's a beautiful 23 degrees this morning. Kind of warm for this time of year. Uh, blue skies though, warm, beautiful. You see behind me, there's another tiny house about to hit the road going to Utah. Uh, I'm going to give you a tour, so please enjoy. So we're looking at the outside of this house. This is a 28 foot build, triple axle trailer. This is what uh, we're calling a shed on shed roof design. So basically the main pitch is 312 and then we pop up the dormers to a very shallow 112 pitch uh, and gives you a lot of extra room up there in the lofts. There's a primary uh, master loft and the other loft would be sort of a guest loft. Uh, this, uh, this is just cedar siding, cedar lap on the, the bottom with shingles up top. It's uh, the customer kind of came up with this shift in the pattern you know it's kind of based on where the stairs are on the inside so this is the driver's side here in the tongue we have our propane tanks and our condenser for the mini split that's installed that's going to be providing heat and cooling for this house Here on our passenger side, we have some custom French doors that we made here in the shop. These fixed windows here follow the line of the stairs inside. We'll see that in a bit. Nice big garden window in the bathroom. That pipe coming out is the exhaust and the fresh air intake for the hot water heater. So that's the outside. I'm going to switch over to the inside. Okay, so now we're on the inside. This house can be full time living for a family of four married couple and two little girls. So just keep that in mind. Here are the French doors from the inside. You come in to sort of a landing area. You go up the stairs into the kitchen, or this will sort of be their living area. We built it to for them to purchase a couch right now. They just have this IKEA folding table with some drawers and two chairs. They'll eventually get some more furniture in here. So the kitchen, 24 inch range, sink, 10 cubic foot fridge, upper cabinets, vent hood, which is very important for small spaces. This is stained hickory, countertops we can get up, pretty interesting wood, trying to match the counters below. All of the flooring is locally milled beetle kill pine. Very pretty stuff. We can get that stuff all day long. Single bowl deep sink, the long neck faucet, a little bit of extra counter space. Full height fridge again. This is a pull out. Pantry is just one of the simple lots of shelves and casters. It just comes out real easy. Stores back. And back to the bathroom. This is a full size bathroom. So five by seven roughly. We're able to get a a full size tub in here with an enclosure shelving. Customer picked up this really cool brass uh, bronze. Excuse me surface mounted fixture rain head there's the garden window and all this custom built in 
we had to make all this to fit the size. What uh, is behind this box is the water heater, and you saw the pipe on the outside. So really close to the shower and the sink, and not too far away from the kitchen sink is ideal. Just a little base cabinet down here. Nature's head, composting toilet. There will be a medicine cabinet eventually installed in here. And there's the vent fan. Pocket door. Let's see the bathroom. So the stairs, open cubbies. The main will be a washer dryer space, and then you'll have plenty of extra storage on the bottom and in between. Simple little ladder up to the storage loft, what will be, or their hangout loft, I should say. It's an additional living space. In the front of the trailer is the girls' bedroom. Space for two bunk beds, pull out drawers in the bottom, and then you can see the lion in the back on the bottom shelf. That thing flips open, that'll be their ski storage for things that are really long, they just don't use that much. You, they'll be able to place back in that sliver. There'll be a room for a armor or a dresser or some built-in clothing storage here. Now, real quick, I was talking about the shed on shed design. You see the pitch break right here and you can see how much extra height you about an extra foot by doing that of height. And also this is the fan unit for the mini split above the door. One cool little feature the customer came up with in this house are these cool little mountain balances if I turn the lights on. LEDs that change colors. He's a real tech guy so he kind of came up with this and he cut all those himself and installed it and just kind of helped him through the process. So pretty, pretty neat little idea to light them off. Beetle kill tongue and groove up here as well. Just going back to the main loft. Master loft. It's like I'm saying, very spacious, bright, open loft for up here in the main. There's the pitch break. This is a this is their closet, so they'll have a lot of room for clothes. Or drawers or built-ins or whatever they're gonna they're gonna finish that little part out themselves and we're looking back across so that is the tour of this custom 28 foot tiny house for a family of four going to Utah hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more thank you